So here's the problem. I'm going to do three problems as I see it. Number one, we're raising a generation of kids trained to please adults. This is unprecedented. I've gone back to the literature. There are no previous generations that have done this to this extreme. Their kids so busy with activities, they have trouble experiencing their own inner voice. They, very, many, very many of your children, they don't even know who they are. All they want to do is make you happy. They just want to make you happy. They want to make their teachers happy. They want to make their coaches happy. They want to make their parents happy and all the other adults that oversee those extracurricular activities and they, God, they want to make the college admissions officers happy. <laughs> and all that wanting to make everybody else happy, what does it do to them? They don't longer know who they are. And the whole purpose of adolescence, guys, is to get to know who you are, is to push back on authority. They don't push back. Problem number two, they're great at working together in teams on projects. We have raised them that way. We think, oh, it's good to be in teams. And it is. It's a great skill set. But I'm speaking from MIT now. You don't see the, sa the same amount of individual creativity as you used to see. And that troubles me. They have no downtime. They have no time to get into their imaginations. Where are the Edisons? Here's what I mean by this. This is why I'm extremely worried about this one. So I'm worried about the two things. I'm worried about their health, because the collective pressure, pressure we place on them is making many of them sick. But I'm also worried about this one. I'm worried about this one because this is about the long-term successful future of America. America is built on innovation and creativity, right? Human beings are creators. That's what we are. That's what makes us different from everybody else all the other species on Earth. Every single thing in this room, every single thing here, started first as a thought in a human being's mind, as an electromagnetic pulse in someone's imagination. And then they took everything that they knew, they ran it through their intuition, and they turned it into the 3D world. They took one little pulse and turned it into 3D. That's what humans do. Americans are famous for innovation. In order to innovate, in order to create, you need to get into your imagination. You need to get up there because it's your imagination, your intuition. That's where the blueprint is made for everything in the 3D world, right? You cannot get into your imagination when you're constantly active, when you're going from activity to activity to activity, when you're measuring up to this person and measuring up to that person, and you're being judged and tested all the time, and you're in constant fight or flight. Am I doing a good job? Am I doing a good job? Am I doing a good job? Trying to please everybody around you, you can't create. So what does it mean for the nation? We're raising a whole generation of kids. We give them no time to learn how to create. And we don't teach them how to create. And we worry about China. And we worry about India. And we think, no, no, but they have to work harder, more APs. And I think, no, they don't. They don't need more APs. They need to learn how to create. They need to think, oh, what's needed now? And in order to do that, they need downtime, friends. They need breathing room. They need to be themselves, who they were born to be. So this is why this is, and Thomas Edison, it took him 10,000 tries before he got the electric light bulb to work and it revolutionized the planet. Can you imagine any of these kids sticking with anything 10,000 times? Because <laughs> think about it, do we teach them patience? No. This is a generation that has no patience. There's no call waiting for them, right? I mean, there's, you know, there's no busy signal. There's no like, okay, hang on, try something else. They have an attention span of eight seconds on the World Wide Web. There's no patience there. We're not teaching them delayed gratification. We're not teaching them discipline. We're not teaching them the skills that they're going to need in order to sit back and create. Huh, let me give it another try. And most importantly, we're not allowing them to fail. Because failure is punished in this culture. And that is killer. That's going to kill innovation faster than anything. 